Hey guys, sorry it took so long to uh, get launching. So let's talk today about a listing, your home for sale in Colorado. We can pretty much cover the whole front range of Colorado. So we can get that rocking for you and get you sold. Right now, currently, there are hardly any homes for sale in Colorado Springs, for example. El Paso County, we have 850 total homes on the market from about $115,000, $120,000 townhouse condo up to $8 million. So we have a large range, just not a lot of houses. 850 total homes, that's not a lot of houses. So what do we do? How do we get more houses? Well, have you been thinking about selling? You've been thinking about moving up into a new house, maybe moving out of state, maybe downsizing. Maybe you're still living in a 4,000 square foot house with two people or one, one person. It might be time. There are buyers out there right now. I just wanna let everybody know there are buyers ready to roll, ready to buy your house. If you're ready to sell, they're ready to buy. So it is a seller's market. And I don't anticipate that changing throughout the rest of this year, 2020. Um, strong interest rates, the Fed came out and said, we're gonna keep the interest rates low. So what does that mean for you guys? Well, it means it's probably time to talk to an agent like myself to see about getting your house sold. So I just wanna run through a quick uh, presentation here on my listing presentation to kind of help you guys understand what it's like to uh, sell a house, how we can help you sell a house, and what are the key factors now? Lots have changed in the last couple of years and a ton has changed in the last six months with COVID and the, the like. So we're doing a lot of these virtual kind of meetings with Zoom. We can even meet with you over Zoom as well to price your house. If you have specific questions at the end of this, please email me, call me, text me. Uh, my information will be right here online as well. So let's get started. Let's go check out what it is different to be selling a house these days. So let's just launch this uh, PowerPoint here. I know everybody loves PowerPoint. <laughs> so here we are. What is the strategy for selling your house in today's market? Well, I have specific strategies that can help on that. What are your goals? That's number one. What is the goal for selling your house? Is it to downsize? Is it to upsize? So you had a baby or maybe the kids moved out. This is kind of where we're kind of in the middle here right now. So what is a goal? Let's, so let's define the goals. Here's my mission. To help families make powerful, confident home selling decisions. It's the single most important asset, probably the biggest investment you have in your lifetime. I want your experience to be seamless and stress-free as possible. Be confident in selling. So how is the Colorado Springs market? I gotta just tell you, it is amazingly strong. Let's look at the numbers. We have a 3% interest rate out there for buyers right now, roughly. The lowest it's ever been in the last 50 years. I'm hearing rates in the twos as well, all dependent on credit. But what does it mean for you on interest rate? You're like, hey, Jay, that makes no sense. What does it mean for me? I don't care. Well, it means that the buyers out there are getting lower interest rates, which is pushing the price ranges higher, which is great for sellers. Number two, appreciation rate. This is in a Colorado Springs area. In the last year, we were at about 11% appreciation. I gotta tell you, the spring has just been crazy. We had a little slowdown, a little hiccup with COVID for about three, four weeks where we weren't out showing houses. Homes were still selling. No time in history has real estate ever stopped, including COVID. So here we go. And then days of inventories of homes on the market right now, we're about 36 days of inventory. Well, normal is about six months. So we're about one month, you know, five weeks right in there. Man, I gotta tell you, if you're in the under 500 price range, you got about six to 10 days of inventory. So that means if nothing else came on the market, six days later, there would be nothing on the market. Everything would be sold. But we have this cycle where homes are coming on the market pretty frequently. So 
you know, a couple, you know, 30, 40 homes a day are coming on the market. But don't let that scare you on being able to, you know, sell your house or, oh, there's all this competition. There's really not any competition. In most neighborhoods that I'm pulling numbers for, there's one, two active homes. So you only have to beat out one other person. And some of those homes are getting multiple offers on the first one and multiple offers on the second one with the same buyers. So, hey, there you go. It's time to think about, you know, no competition. You pretty much getting to set the price. If you're under 350,000 or you think you're under 350,000 right now, that means a lot of Bowers, some of Briargate, you know, a lot of the Northeast section of Colorado Springs, for example, those homes are selling quickly hours, if not a day, you'll have multiple offers. So it's great. It's great to be a seller right now. So let's look at this inventory that we're talking about. You see down here in the bottom, it says it's a seller's market less than six months. Look at how low we are. <clears throat> we are still strongly into a seller's market. Very, very strongly. I do not expect as long as and same as everybody else out there, economists and the like, other real estate agents, we're not going to see a spike in interest rates. The Fed just today, June 11th, said they're keeping rates at zero on the federal return rate. That's a rate that gets set for prime. They're keeping that at zero until 2021 and maybe into 2022. That does not set mortgage rates. So let's not get confused. That's not 0% mortgage rates. That is a federal funds rate. So mortgage rates are set by bonds in the bond market. So that's kind of where that two and a half, three percent 3% interest rates on, on uh, buyers are coming from. So it's not quite zero. A lot of people think it's zero, but it's not. So we're, 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 we're anticipating that to stay pretty low through the, through the time here. And combining these two factors, I don't see you know, interest rates going down, prices keep going up because they're supply and demand. Everybody's heard the word supply and demand. We have no supply. We need houses to sell. We need your house to sell. So if you're thinking, or you know somebody that's been thinking, now would be a great time. If you were maybe an Airbnb and you, you know, decided after COVID that you don't want to be in the Airbnb business, or if you had an investment home and you're ready to take the profit, now's a great time. So let's go on to the next slide here. So housing supplies remains at historic low levels. The house price growth is likely to slow, but it's not going to go negative. I would say in Colorado, this statement couldn't be more true. In Colorado, I have an anticipation we are going to see five to 10% growth in appreciation growth. I'm out with buyers right now, guys. I got to tell you, it is amazing. I have a buyer under 250000 and wow, there's just nothing available. Every house that we're looking at has multiple offers, 10, 15, 20 offers. So again, if you're thinking about selling, now's a good time to talk. So, you know, there's some, you know, economic uncertainty with COVID and things like that, but this is not the recession we saw in 20, or 2008, sorry, not 2018, 2008, we are tiny bit of recession right now. Colorado is not in as much of a recession as the rest of the nation, I would assume, just by how things have been going in Colorado. We are a growth state right now. So here again in Colorado, Colorado Springs, I do not see any problems at all. So there's no crash, there's no bubble. We're not seeing any of those indications that would say in the past, like 2008, I was in the business. I got to tell you, when we hit about 7,000 houses on the market, that was a problem. Now we have 700, 800 houses on the market. <laughs> and our population has grown, you know, a couple hundred thousand people. So we need houses to sell. That's why we're doing a virtual tour here, our virtual um, seller seminar. The inventory is low <laughs> versus high. That's what we were just talking about. Appreciation has never been slow and steady. It, mortgage uh, lending standards have become stricter. They have been stricter compared to 08. We are not looking at the bubble crash cycle that we saw in 08. People were getting loans that couldn't afford loans in 08. Now we're not seeing that. All this puts the market in the position for growth and economic recovery. 
I can tell you since our state opened about May 1st, May 15th timeframe when we could start showing houses, it's been like the fire, you know, fire hose. We're drinking out of the fire hose right now. So it's great for sellers, unbelievable for sellers. Let's just keep saying it's a seller's market. And okay, so what are we gonna do? You know, we got COVID, we have some restrictions at the state level, you know, only a handful of people in the house wearing masks. You know, you might be concerned and scared with what's happening right now. You know, maybe you're high risk. You don't want to risk people getting in your house, being sick. I don't want to risk your life either. I don't want to risk my life. So we're doing things like Zoom. We're doing virtual uh, selling strategies. You know, everybody's looking at houses right now online first. 100% of the buyers are looking online first and they're looking for really good things. Virtual tours, great photos. They're just gonna skip by your house if you don't have great photos and virtual tours. If you're trying to do it by yourself as a for sale by owner, you do not have the access to the tools that a licensed professional agent has like myself. You're just not gonna be able to compete you know, on the grand scale of what an agent can get you. And we're seeing, we're paying for our commissions and just over asking price dollars. So. You know, it's really costing you not much money to use a pro, you know? So here we go. Here's our strategies. Why marketing matters? Well, just kind of was touching on. Being a great agent's agent means knowing more than how to do paperwork. Plain and simple. We gotta know how to do advanced marketing plan, maximum exposure for your house. Is it on Facebook, Facebook Live? Is it on Instagram? Where are the eyes looking at your house? Twitter. Those kind of places are where buyers are sitting right now. MLS, that is the number one place right now. When a house hits the market and an agent, buyer agent, has your house in a search, you will get notified ASAP. So what does that mean for you guys? That means you need to be up there first. You need to be seen. So you, uh, my goal is to make your experience as seamless and stress-free as possible. I want you to feel confident in selling your house. So what do we do to get to this? Your home's digital footprint. This is where you need it the most. PPAR.com for Colorado Springs, RE Colorado for Denver, Castle Rock, Parker, those areas all the way up to Fort Collins, we got you covered. So there's about 5,000 agents here in Pikes Peak. There's about 40,000 agents that belong to RE Colorado, which is Denver Metro, Zillow, Realtor.com, Trulia, Remax, Keller Williams, Coldwell Banker. Those sites you have to be on. And you know why you have to be on those? That's where the eyes are looking. So that's why your listing will be on all those websites when you list with me. So what makes you know, the Colorado team marketing different than any other agent or maybe a solo agent. One, we subscribe to all those MLSs. That's about $50 in MLS a month, $150 a month that we're spending on our marketing to get your house sold. Some agents, solo agents, might only subscribe to one MLS. 3,000 to 5,000 agents in Colorado Springs, that's fine, but I'd rather have maximum exposure. I want to give your house the best chance to sell with the most amount of eyes looking at it. So I subscribe to the three MLSs. Number one in selling any house, I don't care what agent you hire or who they are, photos are the number one way. People are scrolling, we're in a scrolling society. If you have bad photos, they're gonna scroll right on by you. A good photo, the very best photo has to be the front photo the very first photo, it's gonna make somebody stop and look at your house. The average will only be about 35 seconds of someone gonna be looking at your house. They're making a decision on a four, five, six hundred thousand dollar purchase in 30 seconds. It's amazing how that works. There's been studies done by Zillow that show this. It's just nuts, I know. So our team does a minimum of 30 HDR photos. So good, high quality photos to make sure you have the maximum exposure again. Other agents, I've seen it, I'm in the MLS every day, 
they might have a handful of photos, one, two, three, four, five photos on a four, five hundred thousand dollar, thirty five hundred square foot house isn't going to cut it. That is not maximum exposure. Everybody's going to say, what's wrong with that house? Why does that house not have a lot? What if the pictures are really dark? So, you know, limited number of photos, pictures on an iPhone, low quality, limited lighting. That ain't going to cut it in today's society. Everybody, like I just said in a minute ago, is looking online first. They all want to see what the house looks like first. People don't want to leave their house anymore. You know, between COVID and a busy society that we all live in, nobody wants to leave anymore. And then we do direct custom mail campaigns. You know, others might not do any print advertising at all. We send out postcards to your neighborhood. Um, specialized property websites. Others don't have any websites at all. So it would be a specialized website for Josh, your house. Customized video tours. This is huge. We walk through the house with a gimbal. Take a three to five to seven minute YouTube video. We upload it on YouTube. That video gets shared out to Facebook, YouTube, uh, Twitter, uh, Instagram, you name it, it gets shown. And we also put that on the MLS. So you're not watching just boring slideshow video of, you know, a listing on a virtual tour. So um, that's why we do the custom video. And guess what? Google loves that. Someone types in your address, that video pops up. That could be, a, that could be your buyer right there. And then we do an electronic ad campaign as well. We send it to thousands of potential buyers in, in our databases. Over 200 top producing agents also get that video and also get your listing so they can send it to their clients. It's a power across the web. Some people don't do any electronic advertising campaign at all. It's okay, but I want to give you maximum exposure. We want to sell your house. <laughs> so in order to sell your house, we need maximum exposure. And the last thing is we do enhance ads on Facebook, Instagram, uh, Zillow, Truly, or Realtor.com. That's maximum photos, high quality photos, video tours. We pay extra money to do all those things. Again, maximum exposure. That is not cheap advertising, but it works. Putting it in a newspaper isn't going to work. So we also do virtual open houses. 51% of buyers actually started or attended open houses. So how do we do that? We can't have open houses in person, so we're doing it with Facebook, email, direct mail. We're doing video tours. I can go shoot a house for a person to do a walkthrough. So that's just a virtual open house. This way, buyers can stay home, sellers are protected where they don't have a ton of people coming through their house, maybe just looking at your house, these would be serious buyers. So that's, uh, that's our virtual open house strategy. And so this is what's going on in Colorado Springs right now. What, is you, what does this all mean for your house? We get uh, maximum exposure during COVID-19, more market knowledge. We, our team knows the market very well because we're working in it every single day. We're full-time real estate agents. More innovative marketing tactics that's kind of what we're doing right here a zoom call a facebook live we're doing those kind of things more interest from buyers because again maximum exposure seamless virtual selling experience we can do everything virtually online with contracts with showings we can do them all online so it really really helps whoop hammer let's go back on that real fast oh shucks uh previous one thing I did want to share with you was some stats. Oh, shucks. So my team has 98% satisfaction rating from our clients. That's pretty good. <laughs> the average sale price right now, January to June 2020, $380,000 the median price in Colorado Springs, El Paso County right now. The average on time on the market is five days to a contract. That is amazing you're not moving in five days it's five days to a contract 30 to 45 after you get the contract executed and the buyer performs inspections and appraisals and such like that so about i tell people about six weeks is about what we're looking at from the time of starting to the time of moving it's about six weeks um el paso county right now 100 percent median sales to list price that means you put your house up for 300 
on average in El Paso County right now, it's selling for a hundred. Many houses are selling for more. A few houses do sell for a little less. And we have, like I mentioned earlier, 11% appreciation in 2019 in El Paso County. Those are all amazing numbers right there. And they're all going up except for days on market, which is going down. So here's some recent sales that I've had on our team, just to kind of give you kind of a good look. 100% on Brenton, a little less on Wasatch, uh, 100, or over asking price on Starry Night Loop up in Castle Rock. These are all great houses. All of them had lots of interest to be able to sell. So this is my career stats, 317 total sales in my career. I get 99.9% .9 asking price on average. Every so often, we do take a little, little hit. And average days on market for all my listings is 15. So this number is a little lower right now because just the market. So this is over the career. And how is technology helping buyers navigate the home search process? Number one, internet. It is amazing how everything has gone on the internet. Number one and number two showings is on, your, on the internet site. They're looking at virtual tours. They're looking at accurate information in the descriptions. They're looking at high quality photos. These are, these are national stats from Realtor.com. I got to tell you that 51% on high quality listing photos is about 99% now during COVID. So if you do not have good listing photos, you're not going to sell your house. It's just, it's just how it is going to be. The sign in the yard isn't going to do a whole lot. People aren't out driving around looking at houses or looking on the internet. So everything has to be accurate. And the 39% video chat walkthrough with a client, with an agent like myself, that'd be like a Facebook Live, FaceTime, um, Facebook groups, you name it, we can do it. We have the technology, we know how to use it. So that is number one helpful to do right there. So now we get to talk about pricing. That will be the number one thing to sell your house. There's three things that sell a house. Pricing, condition, and location are three things that will sell a house. Number one on that list is condition. If you don't have good condition, then the pricing has to come down. So number two would be pricing. Pricing is critical. Do not think, oh, well, the market's great, market's hot, I'm gonna overprice it, you know, $10,000. The buyers all know more information about your house today than they have ever known any other time in history. So overpricing it right now, they know how many bedrooms, how many baths, how big, what color paint, what color wallpaper you have in that house before they ever get there. They will not come and look at your house if it's overpriced. Nobody wants to buy a pair of Nike sneakers down the street for ten or fifteen dollars more. The same goes for houses. Your ten or fifteen thousand dollars over asking price of what the next comp was, they're not going to buy your house. Just plain and simple. So we have to be right here in the middle where we have the market value. You don't want to be over. You don't want to be under because then you lose money. And over here, it just sits on the market. And I can prove to you there's still homes in this hot seller's market that are sitting on the market because they are overpriced. Agents know it and buyers definitely know it. So do not, whatever you do, do not overprice your house. So here's the process of selling a home. Number one, hire a real estate agent. I would like to apply for that job right there. Hiring the right agent really, really makes 100% of the difference. Number two would be Oh, hang on one minute. Uh, jump the gun here. <laughs> Number two is determine the price. Again, like we were just saying, price. We got to make sure we nail that price. Do not go over. Do not go under. Being right there in the middle sweet spot is perfect. Prepare your house. Some people think the pink carpet's good. They like red walls. You know, most buyers like neutral, neutral, neutral. So we got to make sure the house smells good, looks good, is painted, is clean. Those are the things right there that will sell your house. Number four, marketing. We get to start your marketing. Exciting stuff like Facebook Live. Hey, coming soon. Sign goes up in the yard. All the marketing stuff. 
professional photographer will come in, do all the marketing up front. And as soon as we start marketing, then the last step of marketing is going into the MLS to push it out to the, all the other agents out there to show your house, to actually be able to show it. Step number five is showing your house. That's when an agent will make an appointment to come see your house. But showing your house also means online. Your first showing of your house will be online. And the last step, let's collect some offers. Let's get some offers in. Then we can accept the offer that looks best, highest, best, whatever, whatever goal you have, whether it's timeline, whether it's price. We combine all those together, and that's how we get an accepted offer. So who is this crazy guy, Jay, that is talking online and doing these Facebook Lives? I'm a full-time REMAX broker, 14 years licensed in Colorado, REMAX Hall of Fame uh, member, uh, former uh, PPAR, that's our local MLS board, RSC board member, so I was on the technology side of the board, community volunteer, past career in technology, MCI, and such like that. So that's kind of who I am. So here's some client testimonials. You know, I've enjoyed working with Jay, very happy the property I purchased. These are our past clients. I love all my clients. I love past clients. I love current clients. You're all great. And, uh, you know, I'm here to help. That's long and short of it. I'm here to help. This is my job, but it's also my passion. So if anybody has any questions, I would be glad to answer them right now. If you have any questions as to what to do next, or if you're interested in selling or interested in how much is my house worth? You know, prices have gone up really fast right now. So it might be time to talk about, hey, how much is my house worth? You know, you might be thinking, hey, it's time to move. I don't know. I don't think my house is worth much. I'm guaranteeing you, if you don't know how much your house is worth, it's worth a lot more than you think it is in your head. So give me a call, text, email, smoke signal, you name it. I'm here for you. I look forward to talking to you. And if you want to do a one-on-one -on -one consultation, just give me a call. I'll talk to you all soon.